Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Nira Techies. This is our React JS tutorial. So in my previous videos, I have explained about this hook use effect, how to implement and how to use this one. For this video, I am going to explain how to implement the cleanup process in use effect hook. First, you should know why this cleanup process is required. So just assume one real time scenario. So the application may have n number of components and also we may navigate into one component to another component. This is the normal process. But in the particular component is retrieving some huge amount of data or else some asynchronous tasks are in progress. Okay. But in this time you are just navigating to a new component. It will create some memory leakage issue. Okay. So avoiding these kind of issues, we have to clear the existing subscriptions and make sure we have to close all asynchronous tasks. For doing this one, this use effect is the perfect option. So in the JavaScript, we have one apart controller option. So using this, we can implement our use effect hook cleanup process. Now let me go to the application. So we are using multiple components. But for the fetching data, we are created one common hook that is our use fetch hook. So inside this use fetch hook, I am used this use effect. Okay. Now I am going to implement our cleanup process here. First, we should know where we supposed to write the code. So here we are fetching and then we are setting this data. Finally, we are handling this error. At the end, I am going to write one function. we can include one console now let me go to the application we can go to our console okay you can see this cleanup is called now I am navigating to our home menu okay it's called once again Again, I'm back to our imply page. Okay, then this is the place we supposed to implement our cleanup process. So as I mentioned, using this about controller, we have to implement this cleanup process. So let me initiate this one. Okay, we have initiated now so in our fetch method we are passed one parameter here I am going to pass one more object okay so in this object we can pass this signal and about controller that signal okay so this is the first step now let me come to this function here I am going to use the same about controller dot about of okay so this is all about the code let me save it so basically uh, if you are navigating to these different menus simultaneously then probably you will see this error but currently we are not getting any issue why because uh, we have the limited records and also now we have implemented this cleanup process in some cases you may get the issue once again the reason is uh, it will be triggered whenever you are updating the state see in this catch scenario i mean this error scenario we are updating to state right so you should have one check here if the error type is that means the error name is similar to about error so in this scenario you not required to update the state okay so instead of that, you can add some console. So here the issue is about error. Okay, it's working fine. 
and now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so in our next video we can see one of the interesting topics so please stay tuned thank you thanks for watching